Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. We'll work another problem here with uh, hypothesis testing for population proportions. Uh, and this will be interesting because this problem is going to be a two-tailed test. Remember, left tail, right tail, two tail, those are all the different ways in which you can test. We can have all of those combinations or all of those types of problems for population proportion uh, testing just like we had for the other cases before. All right, so the uh, problem says a report states that 1% of college degrees are in mathematics. A researcher doesn't believe this is correct. So he samples 1,213 college graduates and finds that 148 of them have math degrees. Test the claim at a 0 0.10 level of significance. So notice here there's no wording about greater than less than. It just says that a report states that 1% is uh, math degrees and some researcher doesn't believe this is correct. So this is not a case of less than 1% or greater than 1%, it's just 1% or not 1%. So we have a two-tailed distribution. So the reason you can see that is when we write our null hypothesis down, the population proportion for the null hypothesis is 0.01 because this is 1%. The alternate hypothesis would then be that uh, we don't actually have 1% of college degrees being mathematics. This is what the researcher believes. That's the alternate hypothesis. Okay, so we've run through the same exact steps before. The only real difference is because we have a not equals here. It's a two-tailed test. All right, so what we have is we're going to test for normality. We're going to test for normality. N, P greater than or equal to 5. Well, how many people does he sample? 1,213. That's a lot of people. 1,200. Uh, let's see here. No, 1, 000, no, not 1,200. It's 12,317, right? That's how many people we sample. Uh, times P, this comes from the null hypothesis 0 0.01, and we're testing to see if it's greater than or equal to 5. Now, when we do that, okay, so when we multiply this, 12,317 times 0 0.01, what we're going to get is 123.17 and that's clearly greater than or equal to 5. So that passes the check. And now we want to go over here and test the other constraint, which is that n times 1 minus p is also greater than or equal to 5. n is this really large number, 1, 2, 3, 1, 7. 1 minus 0, 1, because this comes from the null hypothesis, is this greater than or equal to 5? I'll spare you the gory details. When you subtract this and multiply by this large number, you get 12193.8, which is way bigger than 5. So because we have a large enough sample size, we're allowed to use the normal distribution, which is nice because uh, we want to use the normal distribution. It makes it much, much simpler. So let's go over here.